time where religious division is out of control. The latest numbers taken in 2007 show 39,000 different denominations worldwide, and it has been projected that by 2025 that there will be 55,000 different ones. These numbers are staggering. If you asked any one of these groups if they are the right group and have the truth, most if not all would say, yes, we do. The Bible says that God is not the author of confusion, 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. Jesus said, we can know the truth, John 8, verse 32. I think we can agree that while many of these different groups can have some of the truth, but there is no way that they all have all of the truth. Now some might think that it's okay because some truth is better than no truth. Well, let's put that to the test. If I put a cup of poison in front of you and tell you that you can drink it, have I shared some truth with you? Yes, I have. I presented you with a cup full of a liquid that you can drink. But what important detail did I leave out? I didn't tell you that it was poison. So now that you have consumed it, you are either going to get really sick or die, which is why having some truth can be just as dangerous or more dangerous than not having any truth. If someone asks me, are you the right group? Do you have the truth? I would say, I'm not going to say that I am the right group or that I have the truth because there is only one way to wade through these 39,000 different groups and that is by going to the source, which is the Word of God. It is what we're going to be judged by, John 12 and verse 48. Well, I'm not the source for truth and the congregation here is not the source of truth. We all have access to the truth. So I'm not going to expect you to believe what I say or what I teach based on my word. Instead, what I would recommend is for you to test what I teach or what someone else teaches compared to the unbiased source, which is the word of God. I would continue to explain how important it is to search the scriptures carefully for what they say without trying to make the Bible teach what you want it to teach. Much of the confusion that people have when they study the Bible on their own is they study it to prove something they believe in or they are just trying to win an argument instead of just humbling themselves before God and doing their best to accept what the scriptures actually teach within their given context and in comparison to what the rest of the Bible says about the topic. Though man has created 39,000 divisions that are continuing to increase, no one can change the fact that the Bible speaks of there being only one church. The writers of the New Testament plead and encourage everyone to be unified based on God's Word. There is no clear example than Jesus' prayer to the Father in John chapter 17. Starting in verse 20, it says, I do not pray for these alone, but also for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all may be one as you, Father, are in me and I in you, that they also may, may be one, that they also may be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. Jesus and the Father were in perfect unity. Jesus did everything the Father said without exception. We are to follow in the footsteps of Jesus, which means we are to do our best to be unified with the Father like Jesus was. Creating 39,000 denominations is not the way. The whole point of this devotional is to remind you to always point people to God's Word and to suggest to them not to take man's Word at what they say. Instead, look at what the Bible teaches. Many people have turned away from God and even hate Him because they believed a lie or believed a confused person who taught them something that God did not promise. When they believe the person, instead of going to the source and the false promise that was made to them doesn't happen, they stop believing in God or they grow to hate Him. So keep pointing people to the Bible because if they study it with an open mind, with their biases set to the side, it will set them free and help them to see the truth.